Hello and welcome back to another finger painting video. Today we're going to be painting Peanut from Animal Crossing. These are the colors that you'll be needing. Pink, light purple, dark purple, navy blue, black, white, some paper, a pencil or other sharp tool, and your fingers! Don't forget, share your paintings with me on Instagram. Use the hashtag ArtForKidsTV to be featured as the Artist of the Week. Let's begin! First things first, we are going in to do Peanut's ears. Peanut has some pink inside her ears, so we're just going to make little deed-like shapes, like so. We're just gonna do a round part with a flat edge. And we're going to make two of those kind of opposite each other at an angle. So there's another D. See, just like that. We're going to make one more down here. And this is going to be where Peanut's tongue is for Peanut's mouth. Since we're doing the pink, let's do the whole pink right now. Like so. Oh, right. Next, I'm actually going to go in and do Peanut's nose and mouth. Now, this seems a little bit backwards, but this is going to make a whole lot of sense. Trust me. It makes more sense to do this because it's further back into the face and we can always paint the skin over top of it. So we're gonna make a little triangle over the tongue and this is going to be where the mouth lies in the face. Okay, now we are going to jump on and do the rest of the face, do the skin, and we'll come back to the mouth at a later time. So cleaning off my finger, very good. I'm going to touch into this blue. This is blue, purple, it's purple. We're gonna to touch into this light purple and I'm going to do just kind of an outline around these pink ears. I saw Peanut and I thought, Peanut is such a cute character. I need to paint this one and I thought that you guys would enjoy it as well. I hope that you do. I'd love to see your Peanuts on Instagram. All right, so just going around, kind of, it's it kind of has like a bear-like feel, but a lot of animals, like bears, I think Peanut's a squirrel. Peanut definitely looks like a squirrel. But uh, a lot of your animals have very similar outlines and shapes. And so if you learn how to do it for one animal, a lot of times you can use the same techniques for other animals. So like these would be great for bear ears, teddy bears, panda bears, maybe even some puppy dogs, all kinds of things you can use it for. All right, and Peanut has a square jaw. So we're gonna do just a line right across here and we're gonna make it a little bit fatter than the ears. I find that for me, it's a lot easier to kind of look at a picture or look at an image as a series of different objects like lines or shapes uh, rather than trying to figure out the whole entire thing at once. So we're going to do the jaw and then we're going to just take this and go around. We're gonna make it round kind of like a big circle that connects with our chin, like so. And we're gonna do the same to the other side. Just make it nice and plump. Nice and plump little cheeker. Because squirrels have big cheeks so the thing have lots of nuts inside. Maybe that's the reason why she's named Peanut. So cute. So, so cute. Okay, so we have that. And before I fill it in, I'm actually going to go and do the triangle on Peanut's head. Peanut has this forehead triangle that's white, goes down and it's white with purple, not purple, navy in between. So we're going to do the white first. 
little V and then I'm going to fill that in with this navy color, making sure to wipe my finger off in between. And just go real lightly. You can actually even, this is where tools like pencils are really helpful because you can use it to kind of push the paint and make it a, a straighter line. You can use it to make a straighter line or you can use it to push into more of a triangle or more of a point. It's very hard to get points on smaller pieces of paper with your fingers. So like this, I just wanna cover that up just a little bit. So I'm just gonna use that right there. That's gonna help. Just a little bit. I, I love using some sort of pencil or sharp tool. Sometimes I use a palette knife to help my help me just figure it out and make it a little bit smoother. All right, I'm gonna just finish that right there. Okay, so we've got the little triangle on Peanut's forehead and I'm going to fill in Peanut's face with the purple that we were using before, this, this light purple, and we're just gonna put it all around Peanut's face. We're going to outline this white, just run our finger right along the edge, and then just fill it in, smooth it in, and just not cover over our mouth that we already put in right there like so, just like so. I love painting different cartoon characters or game characters, especially ones that are so simple, like Animal Crossing. They're a whole lot of fun to make because you don't need a lot of different colors and it's simple shapes. Simple shapes that make it very easy to create your own. All right, so because Peanut has this mouth, I made this triangle really big so that I could paint over it and make it look like Peanut's mouth. So what I'm going to do now is using my light purple, now that I filled in that area, I'm going to just touch and Peanut's mouth goes in like so. So I'm just going to take my finger, touch and pull away. And that is going to create this mouth shape. And I'm gonna do it on the other side as well. It's a little bit harder. I'm actually gonna take my other finger on my opposite hand. You don't see me use this that often, but I'm going to take my opposite finger and do the same Thing. Just touch and pull away. So you can see you have that makes a nose and it makes this little bit of a mouth like so. Yeah. So now I'm going to take this dark purple and I'm going to take my pencil tool and I'm just going to fix this nose up a little bit. Peanut has a very round nose. So I want the nose to be nice and round oval shape. I could have used my finger. Here, let me, let me use my finger and fix that. Okay, there's a nose. And I'm gonna go in and just do kind of an outline around the bottom of the mouth. You could also dry your painting or wait for it to dry and then draw it on with a Sharpie or another marker and get the same effect. But I'm just doing this quickly because of the video. All right, I'm just gonna go up, do a little outline with our dark purple and just kind of go around and paint it on. You can also use a paintbrush but we're trying to use non-conventional things that you would have already in your home 
Maybe you don't have a paintbrush. Or maybe you don't have a good thin paintbrush. Sometimes it's easier to use pencils because they're a little bit thicker. Okay, so we've got kind of a cute, happy mouth. I'm gonna carry it up just a little bit. Okay. And I'm gonna smooth this out because I wanna show that it's a tongue. Like so. Okay, one thing I've noticed is that we made Peanut's mouth pretty high up, but that's okay. I'm gonna go in with our black and we're gonna do a big eye, big round eye, like so. And we're gonna do one on the other side as well. Okay, and now I'm going to go into my white. All right, and getting a nice peek, I'm just going to push my finger straight down and bring it back up. Push it straight down. Clean my finger off and I'm gonna do the same thing one more time over here. This is gonna create a really fun, unique, I'm gonna actually do a little bit of Peanut's tail to cover up some of this extra chin that I've given Peanut in here. So I'm gonna take actually my dark purple and I'm going to just kind of make a swirl shape. Peanut has a tail that looks a little bit like a cinnamon roll. So we are just going to make that and I'm gonna start by using my dark purple Just do a little bit of a round. And I'm gonna do one more inside. I'm gonna do kind of like just a big cinnamon roll, a big spiral. Now I'm gonna fill in the other colors in between with my white and my purple. First, let me dip into my purple, and we're just gonna kind of fill in the space in between the dark purple. I'm not gonna try to cover up all of it because I want that darkness to really make the foreground pop. And I've got one more thing I gotta do on Peanut's eyes, but we will get back to that. So, we're just filling this in with our light purple. Hoping that I brought enough light purple. I think I did. I think I have enough. Okay. So there we've got kind of a little cinnamon roll, but I'm gonna to touch into the white paint and making my peak, like I like to use, I'm gonna just kind of drag it lightly. And we're just gonna take it around. And put it in the middle. We're just gonna draw a line right in the middle of where our purple is, like so. All right, last thing. We need to make Peanut's little eyelashes. So Peanut has a little eyelash that looks like a backward C. So taking our pencil and some black paint, I'm just gonna push this up and do a little eyelash. And we're gonna do one on the other side. 
This one's gonna be a little bit easier because we are literally going to make, oop, I spoke too soon. A little backwards C, like so. Ah, <sighs> eyeliner. It doesn't matter if you're painting or if you're trying to put it onto your face. Somehow, it's very difficult to always get them the same size, the same shape, the same look. It's a struggle that every person who wears makeup faces. So, we're being really authentic right now with the makeup. There we go. And there you have it. Ta-da! There is Peanut from Animal Crossing. What do you guys think? I hope that you enjoyed painting along with me. I had a lot of fun. I think this painting is super cute and I can't wait to see what you guys do and how your peanut turns out. Much love, until next time, bye!